Hi booktube, it's Missy and today I'm here to share with you all of the packages that I've received in my trade away giveaway for my spring edition for 2018. Wow, what a title. Um, yeah, so I wanted to share with you the books that I got from my friends. We did the swap, I gave them their books, they gave me my books. So let's get started. The first one that I uh, want to talk about, I already opened. Um, I received it from Christine and I didn't Ex I, well, I, I knew she said she was sending me a package, but it was in an Amazon box, and so I just opened it like normal because it came to my house, and I wasn't uh, expecting a book from her, and so when I opened it up, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't buy this, and um, it was very nice of Christina to send this to me. She sent me um, Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. This is his son. I'm very excited to read this and see um, if I can detect Owen's style or if it's going to be super blended and uh, it'll just sound like Stephen King 100%. I know I've read Joe Hill, um, a few of his books, and he definitely has the same feel as his father, but he has his own tone, so I'm wondering how Owen is. This is a chunker of a book. Most King books are chunkers. I don't know anything about this besides the fact that I wanted it because it's Stephen King. So thank you again so, so much, Christine. This was definitely unexpected, especially since I sent you a word search, and to get this in the mail was just, I was so excited and happy. Um, Thank you. That was very, very nice of you. All right, the next box I have here, I believe, is from um, Laverne, but I don't know, so I'm going to double check by opening it up. I did receive this at my, um, what am I trying to say? My post office box, my P.O. box. So I'm assuming this is from her. So let's open it, open it. <laughs> Yay! She sent me a mug. Uh, Laverne won the... What did she win? Oh, uh, Bad Girls Don't Die. She won the paranormal book. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. My favorite, favorite thing other than like books and makeup are mugs. Um, yeah, and so let me show you it. If you didn't see the box, it's Jane Austen. So it has, oh my gosh, it's so nice and big inside. So excited, so excited. Uh, let other pins dwell on guilt and misery. Friendship is certainly the finest balm for the pangs of disappointed love. Let's see what else. The very first moment I beheld him, my heart was in era, era, oh, I can't say this word, irrevocably uh, gone. Wow. Bad. One cannot have too large a party. One half of the world cannot understand the pleasure of the other. One more, one more. A man does not recover from such a devotion of the heart to such a woman. He ought not. He does not. Um, thank you so, so much for this mug. I am so stinking excited. Um, this will definitely be one that my children do not drink from. I let them have all of the generic mugs that we get, so anything nice they don't get to use. All right, the next package I have here, I believe this is also from Laverne, um, but I, I don't know for certain. So let's open it up. Oh, no, this is from Giselle. Ooh, I am so excited. Okay, so I don't, so I don't know if this is actually from Laverne then. I'll have to email her and ask her, but Laverne, if you were the one who sent me this mug, thank you so, so much. Okay, so this, this Kramp, Krampus, Krampus, the Yule Lord by Broom, a terrific wild ride. Um, okay, so I know that this is a movie. I haven't seen it, or maybe I saw a bit of it, probably like in some kind of like trailer or like you know when you watch um, watch Mojo videos, they show you like the best or the worst villains or whatever, and they do clips of movies. I might have seen a clip of Krampus, Krampus, um, but I've never read the story or anything. Oh, look at this guy on the back! I'm I'm so 
I, I can't. I can't. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And it's got deckled edges and it's got drawings on the inside. Yes. I don't even know what this is about. I don't even care. I can't wait to read it. Yee, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Gisela. All right, so the note says, enjoy your gift. I wanted to send you this book in hardcover, but it's not available at this time. I hope you like it. My best wishes in your YouTube business. <laughs> business that's funny um thank you thank you thank you i will cherish it forever um and i'm going to keep your little note here in the book itself so that way i always remember that you're the one who sent it to me thank you so much again i absolutely love it i did send you your oh no i didn't send you your package oh no you didn't give me your your address and it's not going to be on the is it on here no. Okay. I'll email you. <laughs> I haven't sent you your book yet because I don't have your address. So I'll email you. But thank you again for this. I'm so, so excited. All right. My next package here is from R. Infante. She also won a word search. Let's see. Let's see see what's in this package. Oh, it's a hardcover. Ooh, The Shining Girls by Lauren Bukes. I don't think I have this one. I think I have Broken Monsters. But I've been dying to read this. Yay! Thank you so much. She's supposed to be a very good thriller author. And I don't know why I've never picked up her books before. I love the cover. It's that, um, I've talked about it before, that like that rice paper feel. So excited. Um, and then underneath the dust jacket looks like this. I did see a glimpse in the front on the flap. It says, the girl who wouldn't die hunts the killer who shouldn't exist. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Thank you so, so much. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then the last package that I'm going to be opening up for today is this one from Jennifer. Or, oh no, I forgot how to say it. June, June, Juni Nip? No. June Inipper? June Inip? <laughs> I'm going to just call you Jennifer. I apologize. Uh, one day I'll be able to pronounce it without looking at the broken up words that you gave me on my email. Um, so she sent me a book. Ooh. The Serpent Club, a thriller by Tom Coffey. Oh, I was going to say, uh, you know, on um, The Green Mile, he says it's, you say it like coffee, but it ain't spelt the same. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I love it. It's got like texture from the um, the trees. It's all dimpled, dimpled. So, ooh, oh, look at my note. It's got, it's got Jack on it. I love it. Ooh, how did you know I like skeletons? I love them. All right, let's open the note. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. It's a nice long one. I will read this off camera. Thank you so much for this thriller. I've never heard of it and I am very excited because it's got a girl in a lake. And I like how they made this. Uh, it's kind of like a silhouette, but not. Ooh, and it's got eyes. Do you see that? Oh, it's got stuff in the back. Okay, it says, an engrossing and disturbing literary thriller written with high style, a superb debut. Nice. Nice. There's a private school when she is raped and murdered. Ooh, ooh, so we need to find out who the killer is. Delivers a gut-wrenching debut, sensational thriller that could be torn from today's headlines. Okay, that means it's, this is gonna be like totally creepy because it's so realistic. Oh, that kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Jennifer. I, I love it. I can't wait to read it. Um, this year was supposed to be, you know, year of horror. And so far, I haven't actually read that much horror. My bad. I've been reading a lot of kid books and all these other things like fantasies. Um, but 
I am absolutely looking forward to all of the thrillers. So thank you, ladies. I will be doing more unboxings in the next couple clips because I wanted to start opening these up like usual. So this will be like a, um, a collection of videos of me opening up packages. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Excuse the messy after work hair, the uh, shiny face, and the old makeup. Um, <laughs> I went to the post office after work and I did receive another package for my trade away, so I wanted to open it up. This is from Wendy. Wendy also won a uh, word search, so thank you, Wendy. I don't know what's in here, but I'm excited. And let's see, let's see. Ooh, yes. We have two things in here. We have, oh, okay. So we have a word search in Spanish. Um, I actually can read poquito. Uh, I took Spanish in high school. It's, um, my Spanish is horrid because Six years is actually like four years of high school Spanish, which they teach you out of those really cute picture books. And then you get to college and three years is actually just one and a half semesters and, or excuse me, not one and a half semesters, one and a half years of Spanish there. And again, uh, it's it's pretty bad. My, my last class I got a C in because it was just in Spanish. Um, I had to do oral reports in Spanish. All the tests were in Spanish. The teacher would say the, uh, she would give the questions in Spanish and then we had to respond in Spanish, which is fine if I spoke Spanish. I was the only white girl in the classroom and the teacher would walk around and point at the kids and go, estupida, whatever that, whatever. They were teasing me for being white in a Spanish class when it's a college course. How inappropriate and immature can you be? Especially for the teacher to be doing that. <sighs> Long story short, that's my rant for today. Um, I'm excited, you know, because it doesn't really matter whether or not the words are in Spanish. You're just looking for the same letters. So thank you very much. I will definitely enjoy that. And she also sent me um, Everything's Eventual uh, by Stephen King. 1408 is on the cover. Um, I already... I already own this book, but it's Stephen King, and I don't mind having a million copies of Stephen King. So, thank you so, so much. Um, 1408 is one of my favorite Stephen King movies. John Cusack, you can't go wrong with John Cusack, and that movie is a trip. Anyways, I'm very looking forward um, to reading your letter. I will read it afterwards, but I wanted to include this clip really quickly uh and then of course you'll see more clips coming soon bye all right more packages uh it has been a few days i have finally redyed my hair red and i am sitting on my floor um there's this is it can, if you can see I, I don't even have any room this is my bed this is my bookshelves and all the books that are on the ground uh, and I have to shimmy into bed every night because I'm a maniac and I have too many books. I, I will say I have too many books and like a an addict I will keep buying them. All right so I went to my post office today and there were three packages waiting for me. So I think I'm only missing one or two that I'll be waiting for before I can upload this video. But this one here is from Missy. She, she won. I can't remember. Not Artemis. I can't remember what she won. Anyways, I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I like to see if I can remember who won what and also to share with you guys the books. But if you... Wow, I can't even open this. If you aren't the winner of said book, you probably don't care. 
who won what. Am I right? Maybe? I don't know. All right. Um, I have no, <laughs> no room. Missy, you, you wrapped this extremely well. And um, I don't want to break the book. So I'm trying to be careful. But there's just no leverage. There's no leverage. All right. Oh. Okay. <sighs> and the book that Missy sent me is... Ooh, Lisa Jackson, Malice. Now this is my second, third. Someone sent me Left to Die. They're all right here. Um, I, I think this is my third uh, Lisa Jackson. And so she's a, she's a, an author that only writes Thrillers, is that correct? I've never read her, I don't think. I don't think I've read her. I keep thinking it is the same lady that does a detective series where the characters all interconnect. So a detective ends up getting married to like, like a somebody who's being watched because he is... Again, it doesn't matter. Wow, you guys don't care. It says, hi, Missy. Thanks for the swap. I hope you don't already have or have read this one. I know you like thrillers, and I have this one on my shelf. Hope you enjoy it. I do love thrillers, and I can't wait to, to read this one. Um, thank you very, very much. All right, next we have this. Oh, God. <sighs> Next, we have this gigantic monstrosity here. This is from my friend Megan, or Verku, here on, here on YouTube. She had some books that she didn't want, and so she sent them to me. So thank you very much. So this wasn't a trade per se, but um, I, I, I kind of already done my mini haul this month and I don't think I'm gonna buy any more books so this is just a good place to put out her package <sighs> Megan you sent me a bunch of stuff crazy all right <clears throat> wow the first thing she sent me is tag the deluxe edition this is by Giffen Chamberlain and Chi I see a zombie, and I see a creepy eye. I've never heard of this, but it's got zombies in it. And the color palette's not bad. It's very muted. Um, stone, uh, like, stone colors and, what's it called? Neutrals? It's like a brownish washed palette. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully this is the first one, right? Right? Then I have to get more books. All right, the next thing in here is, oh, freaking amazing. This classic horror collection, fully illustrated four book set. Look, I love Rainbow, and this is phenomenal. We have Dracula. These are all hardbacks. We have Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. We have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And we have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I'm so excited. So the only book that I haven't read is Frank, uh, Frankenstein. I do own several copies of this book. Ew, look at that. How great. I actually am super excited because these are, um, I want to say they're abridged. So these are something that I can read to my kids. Uh, maybe in October. It might be uh, a little boring to them because classics tend to be when you're younger. But I am super excited. And the copy that I have of Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde is a, a vintage classic edition and it's ugly. And I like these a lot more. Thank you so much. This is so Pretty. I love it. And the last thing in the box, the back, oh, yes. Awesome. The last thing in there was Doomed by Chuck Palahniuk. Look at those eyes. 
Oh, you can't see it. Look, at, it's like rainbow. So there's Doomed and then there's Blessed, I believe. Is Doomed the first one? I have both of them on my Amazon wish list. And so I can take this one off. Thank you, thank you again. Uh, I just need to know which uh, one to read first. So I will have to look that up. Yay! I am so excited. I loved, absolutely loved Fight Club. And then I read Haunted. And it was just... I, I didn't know how to react to that book. Because it was so bizarre. So I'm wondering how all of the rest of his books are. Thank you. I'm looking forward to reading that one. All right. And the last package I have here is from Samantha. She won She won the um, Universal Harvester. Yeah. And the, free, the freebie because nobody wanted it, which was the uh, regret re regrettable or superheroes nobody nobody remembers them and the bandana so let's see what was in this box last time she sent me a beanie which I absolutely love all right <laughs> and you packaged it with coloring pages again yay thank you all right so oh there's a bunch of stuff in here so the first thing we have here is Family Blood, The Murder That Shattered an All-American Home by Lynn Riddle. Ooh, I love crime. What's it called? True crime. I love true crime. Oh, I really enjoy doing these straightaways with you. Hope you enjoy the books. Oh, I don't want to look. I kind of I kind of saw it. Uh, yes. So there's that one. And then we have Wisdom for a Woman's Heart. Oh. Aw. It smells like a like a basement. This says it's it's from Mama. Stacy and Matt, December 24th, 1997. Isn't that funny? And then there's all these um different uh Bible verses. Very cool. Thank you. Quick story. When I moved to Georgia, when I was in the fifth grade, we moved into a house where an old lady had died. Um, I don't know if she died in the house, but we did end up with all of her stuff that was in the basement. And I loved it. I loved going through all of her clothes and all of her old yearbooks. And um, there was this pink house coat that had a zipper that zipped from the bottom all the way to the top and I did like a little prayer to this lady and I said I hope you don't mind but I'm gonna wear this and I kept it and I wore it for like five years until it got a hole in it I had to get rid of it but this is what the whole basement smelled like okay next we have Vector by Robin Cook Ooh, it's like a medical drama you see that there's like a hospital setting check it out and there's a doctor is he a doctor the unthinkable becomes stark reality in this frightening novel by the best sell selling master of medical suspense yes medical suspense that was one of the topics for the around the year and 52 books and I didn't have a book for that so I purchased the one by Michael Crichton the strain or something and I haven't picked it up yet but maybe I can also do this one we will see all right and the last thing I have here oh no there's more stuff <laughs> uh, I have what is this only the river runs free the Galway Chronicles by Bodie and Brock Thony Thony? Is that, is that the authors? Galway. Galway's in Ireland, maybe, I think. Hmm. I don't know anything about this book. Oh, look, it's a Harry Potter card. It says the Potter family. 
Oh, it's when he was looking in the glass and he sees his mom and dad. It's such a sad part of the movie. All right, next we have a, another hat. The knit cap, you see that? I love anything that's gray. And a necklace. Oh, look it. It's like a turquoise silver. Thank you so much. Very pretty. All right, and that was, the every oh, and a pencil. <laughs> Sometimes pencils smell. You can never go wrong with too many pencils. All right, thank you, thank you again, Samantha, for all of the wonderful books. And I will be back with another segment to this video when I get more of the books in the mail. That's it. Bye. And these are the last two packages for my trade away giveaway spring edition. These are the swaps. So I already sent out to the winners all of their books and these are the books that they sent to me. I was waiting um, on two people. I actually have another one from Laverne that will be coming on Wednesday, but I will be in Hawaii again. I know I go there a lot and that's just recently. I hadn't seen my dad for years and years and years in college because I couldn't afford it. And now I just leave my children home. So I get like a little mommy break, but my youngest sister is graduating high school this Friday. So Wednesday I will be leaving to go see her graduate. Um, maybe I'll take a few pictures and post it on Instagram. But anyways, let's get into this box now. This is from Gisela. She already sent me a book, which you guys have seen in a previous clip on this video, and that was Crumpus. Um, so yeah, she sent me a second package. She does live in Puerto Rico, so it does take a little while to get to me. I'm very excited to see what's inside. Um, because, yeah, Giselle, you definitely didn't have to send me two packages, although I am very grateful. I love surprises. So let's open it, open it. the book Crumpus, which is the Yule Lord um, by Brome. Brome's the author. It is a movie that I have not seen. I don't even know the history or the ori origin of this story, but this cover's amazing. It's got deckled edges. I cannot wait to read it. And the lovely Gisela sent me a pop figure of Crumpus, which, or is it Krampus? Krampus? Krampus. I'm saying it wrong. I am so excited. I love, I love my scary pop figures. Oh, yes. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. And he's, is he a, a kid stealer? Is that what he does? I don't know anything about it, but I'm so excited to read it now. He kind of looks like a gremlin slash werewolf. I don't know. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Gisela. This is seriously the best. I, I cannot say enough how much I love this. Thank you so, so much. All right. So this last package here is from my friend Leanne. She won the Red Rising book. And so, yes, um, I, girlfriend... <laughs> I am sending that package tomorrow. I do apologize for the delay. Uh, I was waiting for a box to stick your book in. And I, again, I know that's super lame. I could have just bought an, an envelope, but um, 
I like sending the books out in boxes because I feel like they're going to get to you guys without any issues. Like I don't want uh, a book to come to you guys and have it be like ruined because of shipping. So I try to wait for boxes and this. So I will be sending it out tomorrow. All right, so in the box here, I have these very cool foam uh, packing items. See, you packed yours good too. I love this. You get that in like furniture. All right, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> this, this very cool, um, <laughs> I can't think. This very cool wrapping. All right, so I see two books, so let's pull them out. What are they, what are they? We have, yes! Thank you, did we talk about this? I am so excited. Okay, so these were both on, or maybe not The Perfect Mother, maybe it was. Um, I know, I definitely know that our kind of cruelty was on my most anticipated reads list for this month. I will leave the link to my video down below if you haven't seen that video. This is about a man who is obsessed with a girl and he believes so much that he has been in a relationship with her. But from the synopsis, what I could tell is that it was a lie. Like it was all made up in his head. She's never even encountered him before. So it kind of has that feel of you by Caroline Kepnes. I cannot wait to read this book. This is a book of the month club edition. So you can see like book of the month club there. And the second book that Leanne sent me is The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy. And I did, I did talk about this in my most anticipated reads. I believe this is the one where it's about a whole bunch of moms that decide to go out to dinner and one of the moms comes home and finds that her newborn is missing. Um, definitely looking forward to reading this one. Girlfriend, thank you so much for sending these my way. I hope you read them first. I feel bad if you didn't. Um, but I'm very excited to read both of them. These are both adult thrillers and yes, oh. Our kind of cruelty is from Ar Araminta, Araminta Hall. I really cannot wait to read these two. Oh my gosh, so excited. Hi, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so this is my very last package. I had a little hiccup with the post office, which has happened more often than I appreciate. Uh, this here is from Laverne Hodge, and she sent me a package that got lost in the mail. It literally came to me, and then some post office worker said, well, binge reader's not really a name, so we're going to send it back to the original sender, but instead of it actually getting there, instead of having some kind of number on the package, we're just gonna let it travel throughout all of the United States and never reach a destination. And so Laverne lovingly sent me a second package, which she absolutely did not have to do. Um, so Laverne, thank you so, so much for your generosity and um, talking to the post office a million times because I can say that speaking to them personally is kind of stressful. I mean, I was so angry, so angry when the guy decided to take my package and send it back. He literally called me on a Saturday, almost to closing time, and I didn't have a chance to get to the post office or to call him back. So I thought, oh, well, that's okay because it's Saturday. I'll just show up early on Monday. And I did, and uh, they had already sent it back. So... Be wary, friends, if you have a post office box that every, like, name that you would possibly go by, any aliases, um, that you add that to your postal box. Otherwise, they have the ability to send it back and then have it get lost in the mail. All right, so there is my, my spiel. My, my sadness that I had to go through for the last couple weeks. Um, but again, thank you so much, Laverne. And this box, I tell you what, is huge. It's huge. It's a big, huge box. And 
I didn't send you very much. I think I sent you a crossword puzzle, which is crazy that you sent me not only that beautiful Jane Austen mug, but this entire box of goodies. So let's get into it. The first thing I have here is Timeline by Michael Crichton. Now this looks like a knight, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know anything about this. Oh, hey, Michael Crichton's pretty handsome. Um, so yeah, I will look into this and see what it's all about. I will read your note off camera. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Yay! I've always wanted this book. This is Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. I did read this book back in the day when it first came out. It is a standalone. If you've read the Paranormalcy series by Kirsten White, um, that's a really good series. And that's what starred me reading this author. This one is about a girl from an island who is being, um, like, segregated from the mainland because she has darker skin, and the people who live on the mainland are very snobbish, and they don't like that she's, like, a worker. And there's a, a magician or an illusionist that falls in love with her, and... They do some stuff. Um, it's got a very fantastical world where it's kind of like, like a old England, but not. And there's like a war going on, but it doesn't come into fruition. So it's kind of like a snippet from a fantasy world. Uh, but it's a very, it's a very good little story. It's not that long. Um, yeah, I did enjoy it. I think I gave this book four stars. But I'm glad to own it. Thank you. All right, the next thing in this box is Dean Koontz, The House of Thunder. I went through a huge Dean Koontz fan in college. Um, I read about five or six of his books like in a row. I haven't read his entire works. He is close to Stephen King in the size of his uh, uh, what is it, bibliography. I'm probably saying the word wrong. Anywho, um, they write a lot of books, and I have not read this one, so I'm excited to read that. Next, we have Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I do own this book, I believe, in this particular edition. I will double check. If I have a different edition, um, I will give this one away. But I'm pretty sure I have the exact same edition, so I will keep this one and put the other one in a giveaway. All right. Oh, by the way, I have read this. Uh, Dark Places was the worst <laughs> Gillian Flynn book that I've read out of all of her books, meaning I could not stand the main characters. And I don't like any of her main characters, but these were the absolute worst. I hated them. I haven't even watch the movie yet. All right, next we have The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, and I've been dying to read this author, so thank you very much for sending this to me. I am very excited. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a thriller, and yeah, looking forward to that one. Then we have Stars of Fortune by Nora Roberts. I've never read Nora Roberts. This is book one of the Guardians trilogy. Um, does she write, like, mystery, or is this going to be contemporary? I don't know. I will have to look it up and find out. It does look like a good beachy book. Then we have another Nora Roberts. This is Bay of Sighs. Oh, this is book two of the Guardians trilogy. Okay. Why did they change the cover? Now, this one looks more fantastical than this one. This one's got, like, the glittery, and it looks like it's like a mermaid's tail or a dragon or something. Who knows? They just don't look... Oh, well, I lied. They both have the stars. I don't know. We will see. All right, and the last two books in the box are both from the same series. And I believe I already have one of them. So again, the duplicate I will put in a giveaway. So I have here... The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, which is uh, 
I'm JK Rowling. This is the author of The Cuckoo's Calling. Maybe I have The Cuckoo's Calling. Actually, I think that's what it is. I think I have The Cuckoo's Calling, and then these two I do not have. And then we have the sequel, I believe. This is called Career of Evil, a Cormoran Strike novel. Yes, so these two are supposed to be really good. I think this is a trilogy. This is a mystery... I don't know if it's a mystery thriller or if it's just mystery written by J.K. Rowling. I know people complained about The Cuckoo's Calling not being very good, so I am excited for this one because it's supposed to be one of the better adult books that she's written. And, um, yeah. There we go. Thank you so much, um, Laverne. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. Nine Nine or ten books that came in that box. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And that is it. Thank you so much, ladies, for participating and trading with me in this Trade Away giveaway. I always love doing these, and I enjoy um, seeing what kind of books that we can swap and, you know, just getting to know you guys better. I just really, really love uh, the friendship that I have acquired here on booktube um, you guys all mean so much to me thank you so much again i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and i will talk to you soon bye